Hi, Guy. How are you? Hi, Stanley. I'm good. Thank you. Good. You know, once again, I'm going through a major change at work. And every negative aspect that's ever happened in the past, these energies are coming screaming louder than ever to the point where I, I just have to say, I, the heck with everything. I just let things fall where they are. I, and then, uh, you know, at, at that point, there might be a, a little rest, but it, it, the voices come back so loud and so often. And the only time I really kind, kind of feel a little peace is when I can tend to the moment as it is and everything else kind of disappears. That was my work this week. Imagine for a moment, Stanley, that you're standing next to a coffee shop, a little bar on the street where they serve espresso and mochas. And as you're standing there, just getting ready to add a little cream to your coffee or sugar to your tea, whatever. Some fellow walks up to the coffee bar and he starts yelling, starts saying, why are you doing this? What's what's the problem? What's wrong? Why why are you? And he's yelling. Now, you turn around and it looks like the man's looking directly at you. And the first thing, of course, that happens is you cannot help but react and go on the defensive. And the next thing you know, you're getting ready to fight with somebody that you don't even know when, by the grace of God, will make the coffee attendant, the little old man that I use in my stories. He taps on the window. Mm -hmm. And he points just past you to somebody that isn't you, some other fellow that this man is yelling at. If you knew that this man wasn't yelling at you, but somebody else behind you, would you react and respond in the same way to the man yelling at you once you understood that? 100% not. That's the situation. <laughs> Something's they, yelling. They just get the voices sometimes though I know but see but see and this goes to Ivan you got you we have some idea that nothing is supposed to bother us that people aren't supposed to be the way they are my thoughts and feelings are not supposed to hammer me and that when these things happen that I don't want it's a bad thing a, a freedom comes when you understand that there is no bad thing about God and the way that God reveals his existence to us. He is trying to get your attention. He's not trying to get you to put your attention on what you say you don't want. He wants you to want to understand that these voices aren't yours and they're not talking to you. But the only way you're ever going to understand that is when at last you get so tired of fighting with these voices, <laughs> these conditions, that you have no recourse other than to say, you know what? Not my will, but thy will be done. I'm done fighting. It doesn't mean I do, don't do what's practical. It doesn't mean that I'm stupid. It means that I cease to take part in a conversation with parts of myself that love to yell at me to get my attention so that then they can drive me by threat to produce what they want me to do so they remain in charge of me. Very good. Thanks, Guy. I appreciate that. You I'll ponder that one. Thank you.